Okay, Brendan, thanks very much for joining us in the midweek spotlight. It uh, was an interesting last weekend, one that's been in the diary for the clan fans for a long time. Double header away to Manchester. It was quite an atmosphere, wasn't it? It was great. Uh, the support that uh, we had with the two buses to go down was uh, something like I've never seen before. It, uh, it was great support and I know there was fans that drove down. Uh, I just thought it was a great weekend. So straight off the bat though, a great result. Uh, yeah. for the clan. There's a, a few goals of note as well. Uh, Felix Antoine Poulin gets his first goal for yeah. the team. He's also got six points in five games, but that must have been a, a special moment there as well. Yeah, you know, I think uh, anytime you go to a new team and uh, you're always wanting to get that first one off your back and uh, for him to get that off his back is great. Uh, so uh, he's, uh, he's come in and uh, he's stepped right in in a big role and uh, he's doing a great, great job for us. And it was another new signing as well, Robert uh, Lapine Bob. Yeah, I think he's awesome getting Bob, in Bob Lapine. Awesome yeah. Bob. Yeah. yeah, he gets the, the game winner. Uh, and it must have been, I mean, that must have just capped off a great start to your weekend. Yeah, you know, uh, he got his, his body in front of the net and uh, made a nice tip to get the goal. And uh, I, that's important. Uh, you know, we, we got to find ways to get more goals. And, uh, you know, bringing him in uh, just adds another element of offense. Those two new signings and also Mikkel Goodvalt going into forward has been... Uh, a huge bonus to the team, hasn't it? How important have those three guys and those changes been? Uh, very important because, uh, you know, we needed something to kind of jumpstart the team and uh, I think, uh, you know, the three guys have done a great job with, uh, you know, the two guys coming in and Mike moving up to forward. I thought I thought he's done a great job. Uh, he's big, he's strong, he's, uh, he's actually got uh, some good plays uh, around the net and uh, he, he, he surprised me by, uh, you know, how good he's been up front. Well, another big strong player for the clan is yeah. Jacob Doty. There was yeah. a, a huge fight uh, at the weekend. Jacob Doty, former clanman as well, Jay Rosehill. Um, I mean, that was it was kind of scary to watch Brooks. I'm not going to yeah. lie to you, and I'm and I'm not easily scared. Well, there are two big men uh, for for all. And uh, Jake, you know, he he hasn't had a ton of fights this year, but every time he fights, he's throwing uh, really hard. And uh, I definitely would not want to be on the other side of one of those punches. Uh, he's a great guy in the room. You know, everyone likes him. He's always got a smile on his face, but. Uh, Obviously, when it's time to go and uh, do his duty of uh, dropping the gloves, he's, uh, he's always there. I think if anyone thought that was going to happen, maybe the first, the Saturday, odd that it happened on the Sunday in the second period, and yet Clan actually got the momentum for it. Clan scored while he was in the box. Yeah, sometimes it's important, uh, you know, that uh, can change the momentum of the game. I think they were kind of, you know, they were, you know, getting lots of shots on the net and uh, Jacob... Uh, and uh, Rose Hill uh, ended up going and you could feel the lift on the bench because uh, you know Jake did really well and uh, it's always good to watch the big men throw him and uh, it uh, jump started us and uh, we kind of changed the momentum in our, for our favour. And getting then two away points out of the four it was, a, it was a good haul to come back with. It has now put Clan in a situation where it's I mean, I guess I've heard the guys talking on the ice there. It's all about the playoff. It's all about playoff hockey right now, not yeah. for trying to get in that eighth place and stay there. It's it's actually now all play operation playoff. I guess was the, yeah. the term I heard. Yeah. Does that does that seem fair for you? Yeah, I, you know what a great saying. Operation playoff. Why not? Uh, it's uh, it's very important. Uh, we have to play that playoff mentality right now to. For our, for our conference, to get in the playoffs, we have to find ways that make every game like it's our last. And uh, if we do that, good things are gonna happen, but we have to find ways to do that. You know, I think we've struggled with, uh, you know, having that mentality all year, but you know, we're coming down to near the end of the, end of the year and uh, we have to have that mentality to finish out. And then we can roll right into the playoffs with that. Do you think the fans are starting to see that? I mean, if, if Clan hold on to that eight, spot and it's going to be tough Dundee only one point behind three games in hand yeah. although Clan will play them quite a few times yet Cardiff was the team that the was only one goal difference in it, yeah. and that could be the team that whoever gets eighth place that's who they could play but Clan yeah. have showed they can hang with them yeah I think uh, you know when we're playing our game uh, you know a 60 minute high speed game uh, we can compete and play with anyone um, yeah Dundee's uh, been on a good run lately but uh, you know like I said we have to get the mentality they've had of play up playing like it's play their last and playoff hockey and uh, if we do that uh, we'll continue to you know keep moving up in the standings well, everyone talks about playoff hockey as being just a different sport, really. It's great to, to have that vibe that that's what's happening right now and it couldn't come at a better time. Fife again, 
Yeah. Uh, another double header. It feels like this is happening all t- yeah. so often at the end of this season. It is. Yeah. You know, uh, they've obviously had the upper hand on us this year, and we got to find ways to uh, to take that away. We got to stay out of the penalty box, and uh, we got to show Fife. You know, we I don't think we've shown them what we have to offer here, and uh, you know they're coming into our barn, and we have to make sure that hey. This is our home and uh, you're not going to come in anymore and push us around. Thanks very much, Brendan. No problem. Cheers. Cheers.